Hello there. My thing's still spinning. Give me just one sec. Okay, there you go. Hi, Lisa Marie here. Welcome to Wellness Wednesday. Um, I wanted to invite somebody, but let's just hope they see it because I'm not sure how to invite from this screen. But anyway, my subject tonight was going to be um, what you need to look for when searching for a mentor. And I changed my mind at the last minute because Jenna, because Jenna, <laughs> uh, she's quite a gal, our um, leading network marketer woman in the world. How about that? I, I, I got to tell you, though, we've got the mentors. Holy Christmas. But anyway, so next week, we'll talk about that. I want to talk about um, what is going on in the world right now. It is total chaos, total chaos. And um, I've also been warned never to do post or go live and talk about anything controversial, anything like religion or um politics but one of my other mentors also tells me do what everyone else will not do so i'm going to do it anyway and i have a right to my voice so and i i tell you our world is changing it is changing at a fast fast rate and it's scary um Oh, how do I even want to get into this? Some say it's the end of the world. I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a minute. I believe our world is going to God, and many people believe that as well. Here is something to think about. <clears throat> Are you basing your knowledge on facts that you found or from what people have told you? I don't listen to the news because I don't believe that all of it is true. I believe there is a portion of it that is true, but they materialize, they, um, they draw it out. They, they make it worse than it seems. They make it a darker picture than it needs to be. Why do they do that? I don't. I don't get that. I don't get why they do, I suppose, because it sells news, right? Okay, well, after watching Jenna's live today, I thought, you know what? I am very passionate in this area as far as what I think, and I'm gonna tell you what I think. If you don't agree, that's okay. You are entitled, you are entitled to your own opinion. We have choices all the time on how we can view things. We have a choice to see it in a, in a good light, look for the best scenario, or we can see it in the worst possible light and, and we can add to it. This is what I think is going on and our world is becoming divided. The government is doing this. Um, the thing is, oh shoot, the government is accommodating to this fact. Big Pharma, doctors, FDA, uh, FTC, that is exactly, they want us to be divided. They want us to be divided. We are easier, it would be easier to succumb all of us, to conform all of us, right? And that is what they're trying to do. Big Pharma, tons and tons of poison, poison in our, in our pharmaceuticals, in our medicines, really. And we can't say words like medicine when I'm talking about my company and they have the right to call their stuff medicine 
Now, most people think doctors walk on water. They're smart, they know how to fix us, they know how to cure us. I'm afraid that they don't. There are some doctors out there like that, but I'm telling you, they are few and far between. It's all about the almighty dollar. They're poisoning us with the medicines. They are poisoning our foods. They are poisoning our water, the toothpaste, Chlor fluoride. Are you kidding me? I, oh my goodness. This thing's back to when my son was a, a an infant and we were supposed to give them extra fluoride orally. We give them extra fluoride. There was little drops. Are you kidding me? Look at what they're saying now. Oh my goodness. This kind of proves my point as far as what I have learned recently about learning your own facts, finding out your own truth. People rely way too much on what other people say and think. That's their opinion. That should be none of our business. And if you don't agree with me, that's okay. Because that is your business. We are entitled to our opinions. Okay. Pharmaceuticals do not cure us. I'm sorry, but they do not. There's a fine line there. And I do believe in chemo, when you have something like cancer, oh, this is so hard to talk about without just letting it fly. I, I wanna make sure that I get my point across. Okay, I'm gonna give you um, pharmaceuticals, FDA, FTC, all of them. Okay, they want to control everything that we do. Everything. They want a, a communist. It, that's what it feels like. I'm not saying that is their intention. I would not doubt it. But that is what it feels like to me. They're trying to conform. They're poisoning us. They give us pills to cover up our symptoms and we amazingly think that we are better. So, however though, no, you cannot stop taking that pill. You cannot stop taking that medicine. They say because it's obviously doing its job, right? You are better. I say if it was doing its job, then I should be able to go off that meds now, right? No. I played Russian roulette with doctors for 30 years. I was in a horrible accident. It was a very bad accident. I walked away. I was young. I had 25. I walked away. I was fine. A week later, issues arose. Yeah. However, nowhere near serious as it ended up being over the course of a lifetime. Started out with simple pain. So my, I went to the doctor, he subscribed a antibiotic. I, I can't even remember why, because I don't think I had an open wound or anything like that. I don't really remember, but he gave me an antibiotic and some pain pills. Every time I went to the doctor, I had developed more issues. I had never been on medicines. I was 25 years old. I mean, that's the last thing on my mind, right? I, I don't know. Pharma is not meant to cure us. It is not meant to cure us. Think about all the commercials that we watch on TV. 
I mean, almost the whole entire time, you are listening to all the side effects. Could cause death, could cause heart failure, could cause kidney failure, could cause liver damage. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Are you kidding me? I thought medicines were supposed to help us. All they are doing is covering up the symptoms and then we need more medicine to cover up those symptoms. And it's just, I carried on and carried on over the years until I was on 15 minute, 15 medications. Never been sick a day in my life. I was in an accident, which I walked away from. off a snowmobile I got rear-ended and totally just whipped off my snow I remember flying through the air you know but I, I never got knocked out you know I got up I laid there for a bit but I got up I walked away and two years later I'm on 15 different medicines and it continues for 30 years by the time I woke up, they had me on fentanyl, a fentanyl patch, then plus oxycodone for breakthrough pain. Are you kidding me? Something that happened 30 years ago and I'm still doctoring? I got a lot more doctoring because at that point, I ended up having to go to the doctor every single month to get my pills that I thought I needed to survive. I didn't need any of that. None of it. You go to the doctor, they tell you something's wrong, they plant a seed in your brain. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? We are what we think about. I have said that over and over and over again. They plant that seed. You know, I used to be able to fake being sick pretty darn good if I did not want to go to school. You know, I could fool my mom and she was pretty good. I could fool her. In fact, <laughs> I think she wanted, she used to ask me to stay home with her because she had the day off and she'd be lonely. It's like, I did that once in a while, but do you know what I'm saying? You put, I could act sick and then you know what? I end up feeling sick. You put your mind in that state and, and you just convince yourself that you are. So, you know, going, yeah, we need diagnosis. We need cancer treatments there is so much out there that we do not need let me tell you what i developed at the age of 25 maybe by the time i was 27 i developed high blood pressure i was a very active 25 year old very active i don't know what's ringing here uh, so sorry, so sorry. Um, where was I? <sighs> By the age of 27, I have developed a thyroid issue. I have developed diabetes. I developed high blood pressure. I developed, what was the other one? I, I can't remember now. Um, anyway. I kept developing all these issues as more and more medicines, more and more side effects, more and more issues. It was a vicious circle that never ended and it controlled 30 years of my life. It, it took me a while to woke, you know, to realize what is going on. Okay. Um, Let's talk about what is going on in our world right now. The government, all of them, all of them, you know who I'm talking about. They, they want to keep us scared. Scared people do nothing. 
Scared people run and hide. They don't stand up for what they believe in. We will obey if we are scared. We will. How much worse can it get? People are already losing their jobs because they won't take the jab. Then you have people that refuse to go back to work because they're bringing in more money than if they were on the clock. Our system is broken. Broken. We, we as our society need to fix this. There is way more of us than there are them. They are trying to conform us. Everybody is, not everybody, most people are following orders, doing exactly as they are told. You know, we, we live in a society, we have knowledge at our fingertips. We can learn anything that we want to learn. Okay, life experiences gives you wisdom. Yeah, this was going to be in part of my mentorship, um, but it it works here as well. You know, most people will take what they hear from other people's opinions, and they would will take that as their truth. They will believe it as well, and they don't take the time to try to find out on their own find out you know i need to start i wanted to start um uh looking into the spanish flu what did they do back then when that i mean it a huge pandemic right are we heading in that direction or do we have this under control the pandemic is real I didn't think it was at first. I did not think it was. Are you kidding? In November, we're coming into an election year. Hello. That was the first thing that I thought of. I was not going to get that jab. I was not until we lost a family member to COVID. That's hitting really close to home. It hit home, you know, who am I? I went and got the shot. My husband and I both did. And I'm not afraid to tell anybody that. And it doesn't matter to me if you did or if you didn't. That is your choice, right? But they can't conform all of us, can they? I'm just saying if we would not have lost Bill, I would not have taken, I would not have gotten the shot. I would have stayed woke. I would have stayed with my, the tribe, you know, I feel like a traitor, but then again, I, how could I live with myself if I brought that home to somebody in my family? I could not live with myself. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is a personal choice, but we should have that choice. That choice should not be taken away from us. Things are going to change. People that don't have the vaccine, they're not going to be able to, to go to events. It is going to come to a point where it's just like a passport, you know, pull it out. Let me see. You're not going to be able to travel. I don't know what their intentions are with the school system. That is scary. That is scary. I don't know what, what has happened to our world. You know, I think the best thing that we can do is be prepared be prepared for you know what go out in the middle of the woods and live your life right now that sounds pretty damn good doesn't it yep grow your own food make sure you've got land and make sure you got a well for water don't let the government touch anything that you take my gosh is it come to that you know 
who can remember the bicentennial in 1976? How exciting, what a huge deal, right? What has happened to our patriotism? It's gone by the, the wayside. When a sports player cannot take a knee for our American flag or a national anthem, where has the respect gone? There is no respect. That is the saddest thing. That's the saddest thing. I'm 60 years old. I've lived through a lot of decades where this world changed so much. I mean, 1961, okay? It was shortly, shortly, Bob Proctor picked up the book Think and Grow Rich in 1961. He's been studying it every day for 60 years. And I'm trying to keep up with him now. <laughs> anyway, and um, oh, I lost my train of thought there. Bob Proctor, um, who else was I talking about? Oh, shoot, I can't remember. Anyway, anyway, I urge every single one of you to think about some of the things that I said here. And it's gonna get to the point where we are being told what we can do, what we can't do, where we can go, where we can't go. If you are not vaccinated, do I think it's right? No, absolutely not. But how do you, you we are letting them divide us there must be something that we can do. There are way more of us, you know, this could, I, I don't like looking bleak. I don't watch the news. I don't want to hear it because it, you are what you think about. I don't want to hear it. So why am I talking about it? Because I think we need to wake up. We need to be aware. We need to be aware of what's going on and we need to prepare. We need to prepare for what's coming. We need to take care of our families. You know, maybe that was just a fluke. This was the first year I, I ever planted any vegetables and I planted them in my flower garden. That's how much I plant vegetables. I don't, but however, that's probably gonna be a new norm in our household. We already have our own land. We have our own well. Thank, thank goodness, you know, stop and think, okay? Stop and think what is good for you and your family. And that's what you go with. All right, guys, I I just hope this doesn't end up in World War Three. my goodness. You know, it just so much doesn't make sense. You know, all these people are escaping to America to get away from their corrupt government, their poverty. It seems like the U.S. is going backwards. Who knows? Maybe it's going to end up back like it was in the covered wagon days. Just be aware and be prepared. So... I think we can take our country back, but we we need to unite. We need to unite as the population. We can so outnumber them. So, all right.